Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money in the Law, my FM 101.3. Uh, with your host, Jay Mars, and he's from the Mars and Law Group. I'm John Drohan. We're on my FM 101.3, and we're also on the Holliston Hub, Holliston Hub HCAT. Uh, so for those of you who want to see us, you can see us there. For most of you who are listening, you hear us on uh, 101.3, and we are Money in the Law. Uh, we're joined by our Holliston Hub uh, executive producer Tom Harmon. Yes. And Money in the Law. We're, you know what we do? We talk about money, we talk about the law, and we make it fun and we make it interesting. Enjoyable, believe, so wacky. You know what? I could go on and uh, on and on. Adjective city. That's yeah, right. That's and we, right. And we're starting, up, we're starting off today. Everybody seems like they're in a chipper yeah, mood. Most of us are in a chipper mood. <laughs> chipper mood. And uh, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about just, you know, it's because it's, it's been a while, right? We're, we're kind of, we've been, we've, we've had a, we've been had a, bit a, of a little, sabbatical. We had a little hiatus there. We had a little hiatus. Yeah, which, yeah, I, which, which is nice. Which I, well, it is till it's, it's not, break, right? It's a little break. You know, I, I, I feel it though. the batteries. Yeah, but I, I, I you, it's, it's weird. Like you start to, and Tom and I saw each other kind of like in between this. And oh, by the way, Tom was even telling me that he goes, oh, the last time I wasn't going to make it anyway. And I was like, I'm not doing it unless you're going to be here. No, like, absolutely yeah, not. I mean, absolutely it's not. like one of those things where once you go on TV, you, you have to stay there. Well, you know, it's funny. So it has happened a couple of times, Tom, whether it's due to, you know, illness or incapacity, whatever reason he couldn't make it here. He, he, some other, tr some other horrible yeah, thing, some right? Other reason, not, right? Like, not like he's got, not like he's got on vacation or anything. No, no, nothing no, cool, no. right? So we're here and like we're like, this is weird. Like oh it's, yeah, it's just me and, you. and we did that for a long time. It was just me and you in the stage in the studio. Now it feels strange. We used to say it back in the day. It was like we were. It was like when the teacher wasn't yeah. in, the, in the room. We were right. like, oh, right. Right. we are unsupervised. Yeah, unsupervised. Unsupervised. We can say what we want. Yep. Everyone, read quietly. I won't be back for twenty minutes, nineteen minutes. <laughs> That's of right. chaos. That's right. So uh, no, no. So 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 we're back. Yes, which is great. We are. And we are. I I feel better about it. I feel more. I feel more complete. You know, when when, uh, yeah, when, when I yeah. when I have my money in the law. Yep. Get your midweek uh, money in the law. Yeah. It rush. Was, it's funny. I was, I was talking to somebody about it the other day, and 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 as I tell the story, I'm like, yeah, we've been doing this now for it's probably going on just over 11 years. Yes. Yep. 11 years of this. Yeah. And and it's almost gotten to the point where it's just part of like my DNA. Yeah. And 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 I was thinking, you know, like everything, like shows, like they end, right? And I'm like. Like how is I'm, and then I start I was like whoa I can't think about that no I can't think, no, no no so bite your so fear so fear and and as a matter of fact even before we started today we we're talking about kind of picking it up a little bit as far as so so on on my FM you may hear a little more of Jay and John this is all because of because of Lisa Thorin so a big shout out to Lisa yeah Lisa Lisa is our, our far and away our biggest fan yep. biggest and Lisa Thorin who uh, who used to she used to listen to us on Saturday morning she was at work because she sure. worked for the city of Framingham. She was on Saturday morning. She would she and she said, "I listen to you guys every single time." Right, nice. and you haven't met Lisa yet. No, I haven't. And and so when she called the other day, she was telling me about how she was listening to the outtakes, yeah, like kind of the promos, and she was laughing. So, you know, Jay and I, we 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 try to we try to claim that we have a little bit of sense, a good sense, a relatively yeah. good sense of humor. Yeah, relatively. So, so the outtakes sometimes are fun. They're they're actually they're actually really funny. <laughs> and she she heard those, and she was like, and she was laughing, and she's and I'm like, listen, you haven't met Jay yet. So the plan is is we're gonna we're gonna get you two to get so you there can, we go. So you can nice, yeah, nice. You sign so an autograph, sign anything you want, Lisa. Right. That's exactly. fine. Yep, that's exactly. right. That's right. Yep. And then you'll realize, like everybody does, oh my God, you're so much funny. You're so on. much fun. And, and, and I, and I, right. And, and that's usually, that's my line. If someone someone has heard of us or, or, or heard the show uh, or first seen the say. show, first thing I'm like, just, I'm funny, right? I have to. That's yeah, first thing that. I do the same yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm the funnier of the two, right? Yeah. Yep. And they all go. <laughs> she does. She did say that. Well, she, well, I mean, she told me, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll go on the record saying, she's saying, her lawyer is retiring and oh. she's looking for a new lawyer. Yep. And I was like, well, I know of, I might know one. I know a I lawyer. Might know I might have a name for you. Yeah. I might so, have a guy. I might have so a guy. And they all work out. They That's work fantastic. Out. Yes. Yes. So what's new with you? Uh, what's new with me? What's new with me? The, is that a new? I mean, you, you look good. A new you, ensemble. I mean, right? You're no, like, you're, you're, yes. you're stepping up. Trying to step. Well, you know, it's fall. Well, first of all, it's not, you know, 800% humidity. So actually Which put that the helps. jacket on before you leave the house. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't mean you're going to have heat stroke walking uh, to the car. So uh, there's a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of, a, of, of an incentive there. And uh, yeah, we're, we're heading into fall. Um, you know, we haven't talked about. Football? The, the, no. The, the, what? the passing Other things the, I the, want to talk the about? passing of one James Buffett. Oh, that's right. 
Oh I, no, that's right. That's we have, and we haven't even addressed it. No, like, even, we like, have not. We haven't had a chance to. Yeah, and I, and I, and I now I almost feel bad. I feel oh. like your uncle Jimmy died, oh. and I need to. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is so. Um, but you were not. You were in Florida when this happened, wasn't? We it? went to Key West right after he passed. Oh, okay. So, so he passed on the first, and we went the oh, following. Must have we, been were like, a, we were a couple of days away. It must have been like 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 Kennedy's funeral. Oh, it was like, like it, it was, was like flying. It was like flying down for a family wake. That's oh. what it was like. I mean, it was like you know. I mean, we were we were down. We were dropping my daughter off at school, and buddy of mine texts me the news, and I am like, just like overcome. And my wife's like, "What's the matter? What's the matter?" Yeah. And I'm telling her, and she's like. I thought something like, I thought something happened. Somebody, somebody you knew. Somebody in the family. And I'm like, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And so, uh, so we, uh, we dropped my daughter off. She's down on Long Island. And then we get in the car. And so we're driving back. And it's six hours in the car. From Long Island. Yeah. And, With, and, and, oh. and we get Radio Margaritaville playing. And my wife says to me, it was a six-hour wake. That's what it was <laughs> coming back. It's and like, I'll, like waiting in line, like oh, waiting in line. That's that's right. Right. That's right. Yeah, you know when you go to those big old yep. school Catholic wakes or whatever, and you're standing there and you're like, oh man, how? And then you think you're all set because you're like, you think you're going to make that, and then you move and you take a right and you yeah. realize, oh my God, it's like being at you know Space Mountain. Yeah, right? yeah. It just keeps going around, around and around I mean, and around. As soon as you, you get into the funeral home, yeah. you're like, oh, I'm I'm almost there. Oh no, not yeah. even close. Yeah, yeah. 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 This yeah. Thing's you on the go to like nine floor. rooms. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Going to the it's like right. It's like going to the Guinness factory. So um so we're driving home, and I will say this, I you know my my I was my heart broken. I mean I've been a long time Buffett fan, and you know in affecting my life in in multiple ways that I can't even begin to address. I was going to say he's he's been a a common thread in your lifetime for for as long as you can remember. Oh my god. I I got a text message from one of my daughters and she said to me, "Dad, I'm so sorry to hear about Jimmy yep. Buffett." She goes, "I now remember I feel, she, I she goes, "I remember she goes, you played us either on the guitar or just at the house you played us so much of his music growing up." I was I I cried for 3 days. I'd be I'm going to hand to hand to God honest. I cried for three days after he passed away, oh, that's and it's still ongoing. Still ongoing. You know, there, there may be some times where there may be some music and some whiskey and some cigars intertwined with one another, <laughs> and things absolutely get emotional. Well, the, I mean, well, you think about it, right? Because that he's he's part of that. Like he's such a huge part of your life soundtrack. Sure, right? that's exactly it. Yeah, yep. and he's so so all of the kind of the things you've been such a like such a fan, and, and you know, there's of course he has this like army of a following right sure. everybody's yeah. and and if you're not part of that you're like kind of oh that's weird look at all those everybody's dressed like a bird you know yeah. and 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 but but you, when you get on the other side of it and you and, and you can explain it just as as well as anybody it's that it's that everybody gets along doesn't matter what you look like doesn't matter yeah. like kind of where you're from everybody kind of is we're all here to enjoy one another and we're yep. all here to and we're all here to enjoy music yep. and we're all here to enjoy the sun because we're in the you know yeah, we're in one human family and yeah. you know you get to go to work every day and you got to be cer a certain person at work and you know what you want to let your hair down and you know tear yep. it up let's do it and he opened the door to all these other crossover artists right sure. who like said oh my god look I at what he's done yeah. and then also hey let's look at what he's done from a merchandising perspective mm -hmm. like hold on one second i just need to rack up a couple of more wins here with my margaritaville licensing machine <laughs> right not the margarita machine yeah. the licensing machine right. which is going to put me probably ballpark around a billion dollar net worth not, not my margarita right? machine no no, that, no. That's something else that's yeah that's a whole oh by the way and you can buy those yeah. for 49.90 i mean you know put it all and that all started by some guy a million years ago asking him can i can i license this salt shaker pool float yeah that's how it started exactly right, right. and he was like yeah i mean if, I'm, if i can make a couple of bucks doing that sure how, What's the worst that could happen, yeah. right? Oh, hold on. It becomes a juggernaut, just an absolute juggernaut. Yeah. And, and, then, and then to your point, there's, you know, there's kind of, I always looked at it as there's two ends, right? There's the shallow end of the pool, and then there's the deep end of the pool. And you get into the deep end of the pool, and you go deep into that catalog, and you look at his influences and his early music and all that stuff. And there is just so many right. layers Right, he's, he's, he's a brilliant musician, right? Brilliant and, and, musician, brilliant artist, author. Um, you know, humanitarian, you know, I mean, just it just goes on and on and on. And just, you know, one of those just rare, you know, just a rare guy. And he's probably one of those guys. Like, and, and you can probably count on your hand the number of people like that, that you know in life, right? He's probably one of those guys where, like, even before he became famous, 
they're like, hey, do you do you know Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, I know him. Is, what do you think of him? You're like, he's great, right? Yeah. Like, like there's probably everybody liked him. Yeah. Like everybody, like he was just so genuine and he was so. Oh and, yeah. And 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 even when he when he gets into like his you know superhuman fame, he was still that guy. Yeah. By all still, accounts, he was the same guy. Yeah. That's right. That's right. There was an article in the New York Times a couple of years ago they did on him. It's kind of like a you know following up, and they're talking about how different he was. And the guy who wrote the article in the Times says he was the he says I interviewed Jimmy Buffett back in the seventies, early eighties. Yeah down in St. Bart's, he was two weeks late for the interview. <laughs> and he goes, and now it's a bit of a different vibe when you meet with Jimmy now. He shows up with the bare feet on, on the whole short yeah. thing going, and then it was just a whole, like, again, just a whole, but, you know, to all these other artists who he influenced from a whole, you know, from a, just, and the other people that, that he worked with, and when you hear him talking about his music, the people that, that unless, you're, unless you love music, the people that he was influenced by, the people that he knew, the people that he played with, the people who he wrote songs with, the people that just an just an unbelievable, just a just a a who's who of who in in, in every industry and in sure, every like all genre, different, all every different, different yeah, genre. It was yeah. it was unbelievable. So, yeah, we were. I was. Uh, you know, people said to me, "Oh, he was. You know, he was he was in Boston a couple of months ago for that." You know, I said, "Well, if you don't live in Boston and you show up in Boston at a hospital, it's usually not just to check in and say hi, right? Yeah. Something's up." But there was no indication. Yeah, there was, there was no, nothing, I, right? There was no, there was no lead up. There was no. I like, never put two report. and two together. Yeah. I didn't. I'm like, oh, he's. He, and I told, I told a buddy of mine. I said, look, I didn't expect him to live forever. I said, but I definitely wasn't expecting. Not, not like not, this. Not, not that, that fast. No, 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 I was not expecting that. So, um, he did do a show down in Key West last February. That, uh, you know, from the stuff that they played on 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 uh, on the on the radio was. I, I can imagine a once in a lifetime opportunity. Mm. I mean, it seems like, you know, he's telling stories about his time down there. And so there's a couple of, you know, really good books out there over the years that if you're looking for stuff that, stuff that leads back to his time down there and kind of, you know, how, how they influenced his music and his life and all this stuff, uh, there's a ton of great material out there. But, uh, Truly, 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 a uh, that, that's a that's a tough loss. Okay, that's a tough right, loss. Like an, an iconic part of uh, just a, an iconic part of like a, America. You yeah, know, like that, like that, like in like this. Not even just America, like a, that global presence of like whenever you you think about it, like whenever you th heard the name or whenever you heard the song or whether you, sure. you know that it was always that same like wow. You know, living on sponge cake like that, like that, that kind of like, oh, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to take a break right now. Oh, it just changed, that, that it, mindset. It, it changed your mindset. Yeah, yeah it changed it, your mindset. Yeah. It struck a chord. It struck yeah. a chord. And they all did. They all did. I mean, they did the influences. And like I said, you know, just a ton of great stuff out there. So so we're going to miss you, Jimmy. That's the message. We're going to miss you. Yeah. And uh, and my wife was my wife who's been making not making fun of me. And she'd be like, you know, you know, you, you, you're still pretty you're emotional. Gonna, yeah. You still but even my sister said to me, you're pretty broke up. Uh, were you just broke up and my dad passed away. I said, I'm very broke up. Of I'm course. very broke up. Yeah, of it's, course. Of course I am. Yes. I was more broke up when yeah. my dad passed away. It's close, but, it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty broke up. Nothing to be ashamed about. No, no. no. He was family. He was family. It's nothing yeah. to be ashamed about. That's right. So, so, right. so tough loss. Tough loss for the for the. Uh, all right, so on a, on a happier note, yes, right? on yes, a, yes, I mean, yes. and, and, you know, because we're all, you know, as, as we all get older, everybody's facing their mortality. It's not really if, fun to talk about. It's not if, it's this when. We're in, the, we're in the business. Yeah, we're that's in the business. Fun. Yep. That's great. That's yep. great. So, right. But you, and you talk about it all the time at oh, work, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's funny. It's, the way we get around it at, at work is we always, is my line, because I, that's one of my, I, I don't love talking about it. Sure. because. For all the reasons, like you don't, you don't know, right? No, no nobody knows. Nobody nope. knows until you know, right? Yep. Yep. And and the the Jimmy Buffett example is a good one. It's like, hey, no, you know, kind of the 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 the, the general populace didn't see this coming, nope. you know. And who knows? Maybe he had been sick for a while and just hadn't let anybody know. But it's one of those things where you just you don't know, right? No, 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 and, no. And so the way we get around it at work is is it's I, I whenever we do like retirement plans, I always tell my clients, I'm like, look. This is the joke, you know. Everybody lives to if you if you sign for Maine Ever Financial, you you live to age 110. It's in yep. the fine print. That's where that's how long you sure. go. Yeah. And and then on your 110th birthday, our our the contract is null and void. Our bets, all bets are off. Everything. Well, no, it's like we're done. Yeah. You go your way. I go my way. Thank you know you're welcome. Yeah. And and thank you. And and we go our separate ways. And the joke is because it, when you're 110 years old, the last thing you're going to be worrying about is money. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be like, wow, right. I just got up in the morning. Oh, I, I peed standing up. Right, I peed. This is great, right? Yeah. I was able to put my slippers on exactly. all by myself. Yeah. What a win! What a yep. win, right? And yep. So it's so, the little things at 110. It's, it's the little it's, things. It's a, can I still, little things that become big yeah, things. Can I still figure out how to turn on the TV? Yep. It's the little things. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So it's it's one of those things where you you 
you know, you, you, we plan for it, right? Sure. And, and, and you especially, like in the, in the estate planning room, that's what you do. You plan for it. It's going to happen, right? Yeah. Yep. But we don't have to dwell on it. And we've talked, how many times we've talked about on the show, like where we said, look, let's talk about it now. Well, we don't have to, well, well we don't have to think about the gravity of it, right? Yep. You know, yep. let's talk about it. Let's figure it out well, now. Well, let's talk about it now because it's not in, right in front of us. And so we can take a lighter approach to it. We can. That, that's, I, I think that's the, that's the messaging, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I know a lot of people for a whole host of reasons, really struggle with that conversation. And, yeah. and, and we're, you know, and personally, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty cavalier about it. You know, we, we've been through it. And so it's, you know, you, 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 you see it happen and you say to yourself, okay, you know, this is, this is life. This is the journey, right? We get it. But, uh, but, so, but I'm, so we're sensitive to that idea. And then we try to find a way to, to, to create a couple of lighter moments during the discussion to say, look, you know, this is a tragedy That's plan. These yeah. things aren't going to happen. You know, we're yeah. not worried about that. We tell everybody, you know, we kind of jokingly tell people, look, you know, your job is to, you know, eat your vegetables and look both ways before you cross the street. That's, yeah. your, that's your job, right? That's what you're going to do, and we'll yeah. take care of the rest. And so we, just to your point, we try to bring a lightness to it, but it doesn't always it doesn't. It doesn't make it any less emotional when it no, does happen. It no, doesn't make it no. any, more, any more serious or any more tragic or whatever. So it's that, but it's the idea of being able to kind of, you know, plan for it but at the same time if you if i if we can kind of get ahead of it yeah and 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 know that it's know that it's coming but not dwell on it right no, and that and that's, that's right. and that's an, another thing and i was thinking about this in the drive-in like for an from an estate plan because we're going to talk about we're talking about collaboration working sure. together so yeah. one of the things that i enjoy uh, about my practice is that i get to work with other people like i i have i have like some trusted advisor in fact i I texted one of my trusted advisors late last night, uh, telling him that I there I may I, there may be a time where I might need a, a lawyer soon, <laughs> like yeah. to to make a to make I'm not saying an aggressive phone call. No, but you know what? Let's I want I want I want to hang on that one second. Right. Let's 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 take a quick break. I want to come back and I want to talk about that one very specific thing that you just mentioned as it feeds into today's topic of collaboration. All right. Quick break. All right. Let's take a quick break. Everybody stretch out. All right. You know, don't worry. It's going to be a fun show today. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm light, hoping, light, uh, light. I'm, I'm hoping that there's going to be some, like, uh, as, a, as we play out, I'm sure someone's going to play some Jimmy Buffett coming out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's as right. Opposed that's, to, give us a solid rank. Uh, we, we love War Warren Zevon too, but maybe, you know, he, yeah. Warren, Warren will move on down the bench for Jimmy yeah, today. Yeah. Well, they're hanging right now. They're that's hanging right, right now. <laughs> that's so, right. It's all, all right. Good. We'll, uh, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Money in the law. My FM 101.3 house and hub. Don't go away. And we're back. My FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, Main for Financial. Tom's on the bag. And we are talking collaboration today. And uh, the, the, we were just before the break, you were going to say something. But I want to, before you say what you were going to say, I want to highlight. <laughs> you say what you're going to say. Well, I want to highlight what you were saying, okay? So the key, <laughs> and here's what, here's, what, here's what I'm talking about. You just said five minutes ago, you know, I texted somebody who's part of my team, if you will, one of my collaborators yeah. late last night, right? So let's talk about that because the, the, the purpose of today's show is now that football season has started and all the teams, everybody's down to their 53-man roster. I, so I now, love it. You know, right? I just have to say, it's almost like you're talking dirty to me when you talk <laughs> football because, right, all I, for the last 11 years, all I, know, I want you've to been do pushing is, this. I, I want to just I talk know. sports, but okay, I'll, but, but, I'll but, take what but I But this get. is the point, right? You ever... You got to get down to your 53 men. Now, you, as, a, as an individual, right, you should think about who's my roster? Who's on my team, right? Who should I be collaborating with? And my point was, you're telling me, uh, I would and I got the text, right? You text me late last night. This is what people who are your team, this is what people who you can collaborate with, who, who have a personal and I think professional relationship that doesn't really have a lot of lines. There's not this, you know, it's, it's all kind of consolidated into one big thing. This is what your people can do, right? You're texting me at 10 o'clock at night with a question about a client and I'm answering it. Why? Because it's you, because yeah. you're texting me. That's right, because right. it's not somebody else, right? That's is right, it, yeah. that's right. Somebody else, somebody else is calling my office and leaving a message, maybe leaving a cell phone message, but I'm not, you know, outside of the office doing different things, you know, life, living your life, doing whatever. That's, that's not, that, that's, you know, that's harder to kind of compartmentalize Whereas if you're texting me to say, hey, and this happens all the time, you and I back and forth, hey, I have a question about a client, I have a question about a client, I have a question, how would you approach this, how would you approach that? You're going to get, your, your people are talking to their people on your behalf. Sure. So build your team, and you don't have to have, it doesn't have to be the same people, if somebody on your team doesn't make it, cut them. That's what happens in every other league, right? Cut them, yeah. right? But, but that's your team. And if you get the team in place, 
then you can go to them for all these different things. Yep. That's the that's that's the collaboration concept for today, which is pull together your people. Well, it's the it's the whole like I know a guy. It's yes. the whole I, I I know a guy, right? So if I have a question about, so let's say, and you know, and you can kind of just in in your own mind, and and it's all it's all part of like the relationships, like your relationship yep. building, and and for me and for you, and I'll speak on your behalf because you you know I've known you for a long time, and I and and I know how you operate. I know how you're you're the kind of guy where you're like, look, I'm if if somebody has a question or if somebody needs something or someone want, wants to run, I, I'm I, of course I'll answer. Of course I'll take the time to do sure. that right and 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 if if somebody wants to if, if I meet somebody right if I you know like not even like if I'm out networking but if, let's say I get introduced to somebody like yet like I can remember when we went out to lunch and it was you and me and it was Ed Daniels right yep. so yep. so Ed Daniels investor real estate who I'm really mad at right now because he's leaving the building that's another story that's another story I'm a, it's a shout out he's a, he's a wonderful real estate agent but he's leaving me because he's moving somewhere else and he was with yeah anyway but anyway, we were out. Let's move it to my office. Yeah, he, he wish he was. <laughs> Just <laughs> you bang. I, hey Ed, I hope you bang your head on the uh, yeah on the third on the low floor. Through, the low yeah, floor yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, but just something like that, where like okay, so. I know Ed, you know, because we, you know, our kids are the same age. Sure. And I, but, but at that meeting, it's like, all right, look, you know, that was the first time I'd ever really kind of talked shop with Ed. Yeah. Um, and it's one of those things, like, okay, so now I, I, I kind of have this new person, right? I have a new yep. person that's like, so if I have a question about re now, it doesn't mean that if I have a question that Ed's going to directly get business from it. And this is this is the problem. I think that a lot of people in our like in in the world they try and. That I'll network, but it's all like this kind of quid oh, pro quo thing. Amen, brother. You know? Amen. Yep. Yep. And and that's not that's you know some for some people they they swear by that. It's like okay, I'll do this for you. I'm gonna I'm keeping score. So at some point you're gonna you're gonna do this for me. I, I don't feel like it, it's gonna. I, I don't feel like that's that's the winning formula. I agree. I agree. The people that the people that we work with, the people who we consider part of our team, operate the way that you just said it. If I called up and said to Ed, hey, Ed, I got a question for you. I'm trying to figure something out. I, I believe that Ed would say, yeah, let's talk it through. Let's let's make sure we kind of figure out what. Now, he would do it whether or not he feels like there's something in it for him right that second, right? Or he would say, you know what? This is about doing the right thing, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we kind of operate off the idea of, look, it's all about karma, right? You put enough good karma out there, eventually good things happen, that's fine. So to your point, we call people that we like and that we work with who we know will help us out because we would do the same. And if somebody calls up and says, Jay, I got a question for you, a client's trying to figure something out, I'm happy to answer the question. Happy to answer the question. Why? Because you're because you're part of the roster, right. right? You're part of the team, and I'm happy to answer the question. And I don't care if it results in money. Yeah. I mean, I love money. I, 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 Nobody I, right? <laughs> that's why they call that's it why money. They call it money, right? <laughs> but but I'm not, but to your point, I'm not so wrapped up in the quid pro. And I think that. People who have successful relationships work with people who are also not so wrapped up in the quid pro, yeah. right? Just a, it's just about figuring out who you can reach out to so you can make some decisions. And then, you know what? If you think of us when it, when it works out, if there's an opportunity to, 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 to think of us and give our name to somebody, then that's fantastic. Yeah, and, that's it, and, great. It, and, it's, and, and you know how kind of those things happen. So you've probably also been in relationships where, where people who may not necessarily be like in that network will call you. Yeah. And they'll and they'll call you and they'll call you and they'll call you and they'll ask you and the and 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 that's a that's a different relationship that's a sure. different feeling right so then at that point you say okay well you've called me five times asking questions about financial planning and then I come to find out that you've hired a different financial planner because for whatever reason sure and you're like huh that's that's weird you know I that's mean odd yeah it's yeah. It, it's one of those things where you know where you you that that relationship that you thought you had you and and, and again that's going to happen right sure. that's going to happen and, yeah that's going to happen but for all of the times that that happens the the idea of that you know the whole karma piece where it's going to kind of come back and help you i mean at the end of the day who like you said who cares right who who right. cares you know my, my my business plan isn't based on you and, and you referring me business because I'm because I'm I'm referring you right. business right, right. it's like, that's not part of it right now if it happens well hold on you bring up a great point that's the other piece too every time we me, me, me my firm every time we sit down and try to figure out and say well look is there one particular individual that is you know literal and the answer is no for for most people unless they have some 
lifeline or they have some type of exclusive arrangement and that's just because their business model works that way where that can happen. Most people don't do that. Most people don't have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with one person, one channel of influence, one, whatever you want to call it. They don't have that. They're, you're, you're trying to talk to as many people, you're trying to get your message out to as many people as you can, but you're going to have in your Rolodex, right, old school Rolodex, you're going to have a couple of go-to people for certain things, right? You know, realtors, great example. You, you have some realtors who want to work with high-end properties. You have other realtors who specialize in distressed properties, and there may be a bunch of folks in the middle, mm -hmm. right? You get tax people who focus on business owners who might focus on a particular niche practice area. You get tax people who focus on dentists and doctors and auto mechanics, and then you get other ones who are general practitioners. This is what, when, 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 you're, when you're putting, when you're assembling your team, this is what you need to figure out. You need to figure out who's the right person for you. You know, most folks probably don't need a high-end, super white shoe law firm from downtown Boston with $1,600 an hour billing rates to assemble their estate plan for them. Maybe they do. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe they, they do. Or they could get that same, the same level same of service. Feel, same, same feel. Same feel. Right in downtown Hollis. That's right. right. That's right. And you're charging, what, fourteen ninety nine? Yeah, that's right. Just under it. Just <laughs> under good, it. Just under it. That's a good deal. Just under it. Like, yep. Put a, a coupon. Deal. You got to yeah. have a coupon. You know? But, <laughs> but, it's, but, it, but it's, it's really what you're looking for. Yeah, and, and the whole idea of, of, you know, this is all kind of part of this, like, like kind of team building and collaboration. And, you know, we, I, I go back to, uh, to our, musical, our, our, our musical tribute today of the great Jimmy Buffett. Um, I mean, think of all the collaboration that he did, you know, sure. in, in, in the music industry, like for, you know, for his entire career. And like you said, it's not always going to be the same person. That's right. how, it's not, and, and, and for all the right reasons, because he, you know, this, I want to do this, this type of song, this genre of music. So I'm going to collaborate with this particular That's artist, right. right? That's right. Yeah. And, and at, you know, you, you know, in, in our, in our world or, you know, we kind of bring that back to where the world that we live in, you know, I'm, for me, I, I like I love the idea of being again. It's all about helping your clients, right? Yep. And I want to. And, and at the end of the day, we just want to make our clients happy. We want to we want to help them as best we can. So you know, if a client says, and and the example is is uh, there was a there the the client or or potential client that that I was talking about was somebody who who may need some help with some housing with some government housing issues, sure. right? Yeah. So the question is about that, right? Yep. So so some and I'm like, I don't you know that's not my wheelhouse, right? But I would imagine that, and, and I don't know if it was your wheelhouse, but I do know that you're an attorney. So right, I always, right. so I love the idea of having an attorney call somebody and say, "Oh, I represent blah blah blah." Sure. And this is, and, on behalf of a client. Yeah, on the on behalf of a client. So then, so then it kind of makes everything a bit more official and kind of puts sure. people on. Oh, well, this is an attorney, so this must be because obviously this attorney is is representing. You know, they're they're doing their job. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, some people are taking it seriously. I hate to say it that way, but sometimes. It's, but it's true, right? But we, we we run into it all the time, and we say, "Look, you know what? If we make the phone call, but if, if people." People always ask all the time, can you put a letter on your letterhead? Yeah. For some reason, like the, the lawyer letterhead thing is like, oh, this means there's some, there's some teeth to this. There's some gravitas put to this. And, yeah. and, and so, yeah, that's, par that's part of your team, right? If you, if you have a, if, if somebody who I don't know, who's never been a client, I couldn't pick them a, a, out of a lineup, calls up and wants us to do something like that that's really not in our wheelhouse, we'd say, like, you know what, this really isn't something we do, that's fine. But if it's a client who we've worked with and we have a longstanding relationship with, and we say, look, you know what? Here's a couple of ways that we can sort of flesh this out. It might not be us. It might be somebody else. Let's get you a referral. Let me make some phone calls and, you know, we'll try to put somebody together. Because why? Because we're on your team. You're but, on our team. That's right. what we want to do for you. And it's, and, but, it's, but it's not like I'm saying, oh, hey, listen, I need you to, you know, go to court for this person and, and, and do a, you know, do like a 30-page estate plan. Or right, right. You know, so that, that's the other part of it is like, look. You know, you as as you know, you kind of need to represent your teammates, right? And you need sure. to kind of say, look, when someone says, "Oh, I, I have a," you know, because I've had clients that said, "Oh, I have a question about this," and 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 if I start peppering, you know, getting peppered, I'm like, look, I can run this by my attorney, but you know, at some point, you're probably going to need to sit down with right. with the the attorney. I mean, I can kind of be this kind of this conduit and and answer some questions, but at some point, you're going to need to sit down with an attorney. And when you do. You're going to pay for it, right? You, right. And, right. And, and you for all the right reasons because you you have to, and and it's going to take their time to be able to you know put together your plan. Well, th that's that's a great point, and I think one of the one of the reason one of the things that we've you know we're, obviously we try to be respectful of all of our collaborators, teammates' time, but you bring up a great point. I think one of the things that having people on your team, what it does for you is it gives you the ability to kind of short circuit some of this stuff yeah. because otherwise well, before it turns into some like long 
fact-finding fishing expedition where you just don't know where it goes, you pick up the phone, you call somebody like, I got a question. And then they can, you can kind of cut to the chase on a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, get you going on the right, get you on get, the right track. Get you on the right track and get you on the right track sooner. Yep. Get you on the right track faster so you can get to the solution quicker. Whereas somebody else might be coming in and say, look, we, we get a lot of work we got to do here. This, you know, we got to really figure this out. So it, 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 for you, it, for, the, for you as the, as the end user client, it just cuts a lot of the, the middle stuff out. You just get right to it. And All I right. think that's important. All right, let's take a quick break. We're going to talk about, we're talking about who's on your team. We're going to talk about, okay. talk about some, of, some of the guys on, or talk about people, the players. Play some of the players on your team. All right, All right. Uh, don't go away. Uh, Money in the Law, MyFM 101.3, Hollison Hub, Tom Harmon. Tom, you know who's on our team? Tom. Tom Harmon. Yeah, he Tom is. Harmon. Yeah, he I, is. Whatever we do. First he's position. A, you know what? Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's great having Tom on our team. That's right. All right, don't go away. We'll be right back. And you're back. My FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John drove him in for financial. In case you're curious, on yeah, the TV, watching the TV, we, we, drew, we diagrammed it out. We X and O'd it for you, so you know exactly who you're yeah, talking to. We need to, to. We need we to need put to the website who's up Who's on the team? You're going to put Tom in the middle right <laughs> there. Make like a Venn diagram with Tom. That's He's right. in the middle. Yeah. Kind of touches on everybody. I would have put him up top a little bit more. That's all right, because now you're going to like, no, you're going to. He's not doing it right here. There's no Venn diagram. I'm saying he's in the back. In the back. Can't see him. Yep. On the bag. Yep. There you go. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So talk about your team. So who's, so there's kind of, you You're know. You're the only guy on my well, team. <laughs> well, I understood. For all the right reasons. For all the right reasons. But, you know, when you think about it, I was listening to a podcast that was talking about uh, the, the beginning of the football season. They were talking about contracts. They were talking about the strike, um, uh, you know, when they, when they striked in the, in the past. And they were talking about how, you know, what the league minimums are for guys who come in the league, right? Where you are when you get drafted and all this other stuff. Do you know what the league minimum is? As a, if, if you're for a, football? Yeah. Uh, I'll guess. Uh, $550,000. Close, seven fifty. dollars Okay, That's yeah. Right. I, think, I think it's gone up. Right. Inflation, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. you know, post-COVID kind sure. of stuff, yeah. So the guy who was the agent, he's talking, he's saying, look, you know, do you know what the average length of a career in the NFL is? Four years. Three years. Three like, years. Three years. All right, all right, so he says, look, again, so there's a lot of these guys are going to get, they're gonna get, they're right. gonna get one contract. He says, a lot of the guys are going to get one contract. And my goal is to get them to like two, three contracts. You know, not a lot of guys who are 15 years in the league, right? A lot of them don't. So what he was saying. You know, Most between, don't. No, that's it's right. Football. That's what he was saying. He's like, you know, a lot of guys don't do it. He goes, it's, but that's, but that's not, you know, when you hear these teams talk about, you know, these insane contracts, that there's so few people getting that money, right? So you think about think about what goes into, you know, running this organization, right? There's a couple of high profile players. There's everybody else who's at, you know, whatever they're trying to negotiate contract to contract. There's a bunch of people at the league minimum. And they're all they all have a specialty, right? And so who do you want, right? You can't, you know, you don't have you don't have Eleven journeymen. You have a couple of. You're looking for a couple of star players. You might need a couple of big hitters. Is what yeah. You're saying. yeah, yeah, and yeah. and and it might not and it might not even be the it might not even be a specific person. It might just be a specific position, mm -hmm. right? Like you say to yourself, look, this we can't run our offense without strength at this position, right. whoever that person is, right? So listen, you talking for. <laughs> So this is the, so this my point is this is the same idea right I when I think about you know when you're talking about who's on your team you, there's there's you know you, you got to have good financial advice you got to have good legal advice you got to have good tax advice right so you you know there's a there's a bunch of people that I think are critical to your team that's what I think so so you know, we're talking kind of from a from a professional standpoint so if you're like a service provider like we are right sure. so we're you know we're essentially so we do we 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 provide service so you know our our team you know so kind of our network of people because you know when I when you and I talk to people about they're like oh, I have a question about this I have a question about money right and, and then there's other factors like like you said there's the tax factor there's the legal factor there's the investment factor there's all all these kind of right. so so and and if if it involves you know an investment in real estate, there's like the real estate piece. If it involves buying real estate, there's the the financing piece. You know, there's yep. there's kind of the bend. There's so so there's that kind of like you know that that initial network of people kind of has I have you know my my attorney, my tax person, my my real estate. If I have a, a, a mortgage question, and and a lot of times it it refer it it comes to you'll you'll eventually refer a business to these people and they can all be they're all kind of integrated right because they're yeah. all because they're 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 their service offering touches on each other's service offering yeah but again so why am i referring business to you versus some other attorney why am i referring business to you know ed daniels versus some other real estate agent it's because i know them because they because i i know you i i've i have established a relationship in it and and it's not and again not it's not a 
if I refer you, you're going to refer me. It's a, I refer you because I'm, I'm looking out for the best interest of my client. So if Tom Harmon is my client sure. and he says, hey, I'm thinking about buying a house. I'm like, okay, listen, call this person. This is, call, they're, they're going to give you the best deal they can for a mortgage, right? right. And, and if, if, but I'm not saying you're going to have to use them, but I know that I know them. Right. I've, I've, I've worked with them. They're going to say, Hey, here's the best that we can do. Here's what's going to cost. If you can find, and they'll tell you, if you can find something better, bring it to me and I'll tell you if it's better or not. Well, that's a great point right there. That's the other thing. When you're put, when you're assembling your team, the people that your team refer you to, you want them to operate on the same yeah. wavelength that your team members you got to, operate right? on. You got right? to. So if somebody says to me, hey, you know what? You should go talk to Jay and let him talk about your state plan. And we sit down and we talk about everything. And at the end of that, somebody says, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the price. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about that. I'm wor okay, we'll, we'll handle it. We can have a conversation. We can talk about it. But we'll handle it in the same manner that we think that the person who referred us would handle it, right? Like, you know, we're not, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to recognize the relationship and that's why we're working together, right? Because yeah. we kind of operate the same way, right? We don't, you know, you walk in the door, you know, like a lot of lawyers, for example, they close the curtain the minute you walk in the room, right? They won't tell you anything unless you're a client. And yeah. unless, you, unless you write a check, unless you become a client, then they start yeah, to that's reveal a, that's everything. A, that's sometimes that's tricky too. Cause, that's right. Because you know, yep. you've seen it and, you're, and you've told me this. They're like people come in and they'll just try and be like, try and get as much kind of free info as they can. Like, yep. oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to commit to this and blah, blah, blah. Yep. And oh, I've seen your prices and I I think I can do better. Some, you know, so all, all that stuff. Yep. And yep. so I, I get that. I, I get that kind of like, all right, look, I'm not going to give away the farm and just, sure. because my legal advice, that, that there's value in that. Yep. There's, there's, there's there's real value in that, like real value that 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 people pay for yeah. and, and and need to pay for because that's that's kind of how you that's what you yeah. do. You we'll do. give you we'll give you we we will recognize the relationship. We'll give you a certain amount of time, right? We'll we'll be open book about certain components of what we're talking about. But yes, you're, yeah. in, you're at some point we have to say, look, at this point, everything going forward here, we absolutely can help you out with. But we need to do it as you, for, for a whole host of reasons. For the right, yeah. I mean, and, and some, and put the right. dollar in my pocket, right? That's well, it. <laughs> it's a dollar in my pocket. It's my insurance people want to know that I'm going to be telling you stuff and you're going to go out and do it. And then if it blows up because you didn't execute the way we, you know, there's, there are legitimate, not just me, you know, being a tightwad, not wanting to give you information. At some point, there's a, ra there's a rationale. Can I say from, tightwad on TV? <laughs> I There's think so, right? Yeah. yeah, that's for legit. That's fine. Right. We we are trying to push the FCC limits today. <laughs> Always, because I think I did say I I said the word F and bomb, but I I, you might have, I yeah. can say that, right? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> okay. you're fine. Yeah, but but that's the idea. You you want the people that you get referred to. You want the other people that are on your extended team to hopefully operate the same way, or at least they say to you going in, "Hey, look, you know what? Like the, the this is these guys run a pretty tight ship over there." This is what they going in there. You want to have all your questions lined up. You want to get everything taken care of because once whatever we're going to, however they handle it, this is how it's going to work. And then when that meeting is over, like they're done with you. And if you yeah. haven't retained them at that point, don't be calling back one more. Like get that they're, they're, they're doing us a favor. This is how we operate. And that's it. So you want to make sure that you kind of understand how everybody works and your, your team can tell you that. Yeah. And, and that's, and it's important to kind of, and for, for at least for us and, and you as well, like you, you can, I can tell them, I can tell, like if I'm telling Tom, Hey, listen, you need to go talk to Jay. Here's how it's going to work. Here, yeah. Here's cause I, I know, you know, cause we've done this, you know, countless times. Like, times. Hey, he's going to talk to you. He'll answer some questions, but if you want to retain him, here's you know, at some point there's going to be a decision whether oh, yeah. or not, you know, and then I'll, say you know i'll say based on my you know I'm, I'm not a lawyer but i play one on tv or i stand next to one on tv i'll say you need you're going to need to do this you right. know I'm not, I'm not sending you to him to get free advice i'm right. sending you to him like look because eventually you're going to need to do this because if it's a question right and this is back to the original thing if it's just a question you have a question okay i'll ask him yeah. I'll, I'll ask jay and i'll, I'll get confirmation because i don't know the answer to that but if i feel like you need to you need to redo your estate plan. Yeah, you, need comes, re you need real representation. Yeah, or, or it's t it's time. Like like oh well, I have this like twenty year old and like we've had two kids and I've been divorced and I'm like no no no. Yeah. You need to, This needs to be redone. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm sure whatever you have, you paid for and it was great for the time, but it needs to. You need to. You need real 
you, you need to you need to spend some money, right? Yeah. And 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 you're gonna and you're spending money for all the for all the appropriate reasons because your estate plan needs to get updated. Well, and you have a problem. You have an issue that needs to be addressed. Yeah, there's right? like some needs to get solved. We yeah. can't do it. We yeah. can't do it. It's not it's not in our wheelhouse. We might know enough, and if we don't know, we're gonna say like, you know what, this is really not us. We get to kick it to somebody else. But this is what the, you know. We have an idea what they're gonna tell you to do. I don't know what the, you know. We'll find out, and then you can come back and. And find out, you know, what do they charge? Does this seem reasonable? And say, yeah, it does. Sure, it does. And but you, but you, but you, you mentioned before, like, you, oh, you need a realtor. But you depends on what you're trying to do. Are you yeah. are you buying? Are you buying commercial property? Are you buying investment property? Are you looking for a fixer upper? A lot of people want to walk in and have a turnkey done. Mm. You might be looking. So some people might say, we only deal with you know higher end homes. Everybody, everybody has an avatar. Yeah. Everybody has a, a, a niche of who they're trying to service. But you don't always get your avatar, you don't always get the same people. So your team is gonna have different people on it that cover different things. You wanna, what kind of mortgage are you getting? Are you getting are you, are you some financing? Is it commercial property again? Is it a reverse mortgage? Are we doing just a regular straight up, you know, refi? I mean, okay, well, there's other people who focus on those areas. They've created that niche. That's who you should be talking to. And we talked about it before. This is how you get to the right place. Yeah, a great mortgage example, again, just to kind of, for, for an example for that is, so if somebody's going to get a regular, they're buying a house, they're going to get a 30 sure. year mortgage, or they're going to refinance a 30 year mortgage, then you'll, then I'll usually send them to, uh, it, you know, my rule of thumb is you're going get to the, get the cheapest mortgage you can. Because, yeah. you know, like, and again, not, nothing against like the mortgage people that I've used in the past. I, and I use them because they're the ones that I refer because they're the most upfront. They're like, this is how much it costs. This is how much I'm going to make on it. This, you know, they sure. because I, you know, and you've done it. You've seen it like how many times, like in the mortgage banking industry, it's all this kind of like you know playing three card Monty, and there's oh, no yeah. there's no clarification. And I, and I would always say, explain the closing costs in third grade English to me, so I understand. But more importantly, so my client yeah, understands. There were a lot of checks that are getting cut at the closing. Who's getting what? Yeah, and and at the end of the day, when you're when you're doing that type of a mortgage, all that matters is the rate. And the closing costs. There's yep. no, there's no service on a mortgage. Once you get a 30-year loan, there's no service no, on that. There's it's no, getting sold probably before the weekend. Exactly. Over. So especially if you're buying it from like a mortgage, you know, like a mortgage house, like yep. not not just a bank. So so there's that piece of it. Now you know, there's you could probably say there's some other factors too, maybe like with the appraisal of the house and all that. But just kind of you know, apple for apple, 30-year mortgage. I, I I get the cheapest mortgage, right? I get the cheapest one I can get. But then. The, if, if someone is going to, needs a line of credit, right? So yeah. uh, you could go to the bank, right? And let's sure. say the bank, and you know, we'll pick on a bank. Let's say, you know, Billy Bob Bank, they, they'll do 30 year mortgages, but their 30 year mortgage rate is 6%. Like that's their best rate. Um, but you can get maybe 5% somewhere else, right? So you're going to take the lower rate as long as the, the co closing costs are the same. But if you're going to get a line of credit, that's where I, I'll send you to the bank, right? Yeah. That's so, so you, where, where the mortgage, even though they sell them, they may not, it may not be what you're looking for, but the, but the line of credit, that's, so that's kind of where you, you have well, kind of these different Well, that's a great point. We, we just literally had the same exact issue last week with somebody, and I said, the mechanics of a line of credit, you want to have a bank, right? It's you just, need a bank. It, it just works yeah. better, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, you're 100% right. A mortgage broker will sell you a line of credit, and it's going to be with some entity that you don't know, you've never heard of, and if you're getting a line of credit, do you feel better because it's at Middlesex Savings Bank? Do you feel better because it's at Citizens? Yeah, you do because it just feels right. It feels the way it should be, right? Yeah. So, you and you know. may pay a little bit more. You may, but but at the end of the day, again, and this is you know based yeah. on my experience, you know, like that. That's that's a that's a better option for. for it just people. works better. It yep. just works better. Yeah, it just works better. So that's and and that's those are the things that the people on your team would tell you, right? Because you may somebody calls you and says, "Look, I have a question for you." That's not even. It, it, it's it's financial, but it's not related to managing money for somebody. It's just a question about. I'm thinking about doing this. And you could say, well, look, I've done this personally and I've done this professionally. Here's probably the way you want to think about mm -hmm. this. And then I can send you to somebody, you can talk to them, or you kind of go it on your own and, and figure it out and, and decide how you want to handle it, right? And my job is not to put a gun to your head and make you, to your point, make you do it. Just go figure out who works better for yeah. you, you know? And you're going to like that. You don't like those people. You might hit it off, you might not hit it off. Yeah, one, one of the other cool things about having like that network that you work with and you and I have done this countless times. Is so. Let's say I refer somebody to you, but then, but then it's like now you can talk to and and if, and it's if it's a say it's an estate planning or legal thing, 
then or uh, then you can your the client can say oh you guys can talk about you guys can talk together yep. about us right yeah. and and oftentimes that's where things really get they, they really get fixed right at that point or the problems really get solved is so I'll be like hey listen is it okay if Jay talks to me or you you let Jay know that it's okay for you to talk to me about your or he and I to talk about your your estate plan right yep. because remember there's like there's kind of some pretty clear lines about what you you know you're allowed to talk about sure. with sure. with other people without getting like you know without getting the green light from the client yeah, yeah without without the client giving you that kind of authorization so so then you know once that happens now now it's almost like you really have a team that's kind of working together oh, yeah. to kind of and you know and then that's when things really get done well and that's and that's exactly but and by the way these things get done and you don't have to necessarily be involved in that yeah. right like that example right there hey we just did your estate plan can i talk to john about what we have to do in terms of funding your trust yeah, have a conversation with John. Okay, John, this is what we did. Do we You're put the lunch me, bill? Do we this, do you give them the, yeah, because we had to talk about it at well, the that's, depot. That's, that's, that's probably the biggest challenge is who's going to bill the client, where you, are we, or where are we, you or me. It's you or me. That's the biggest challenge. Who's paying for the scotch that's that right. it's going to cost? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a gallon 15? Oh, 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 who's paying? Oh, right to the 25. Right oh, to the 25. Right. Right. <laughs> We're not animals. They want us to talk. <laughs> We're not animals. <laughs> Nothing makes me talk better than a couple of these in me, I'll tell you. They still want us to get together. But but you but but you don't have to be in involved in the in the machinations of that whole conversation you're just going to get a phone call from john that says hey i talked to jay or i talked to the tax person or i talked to the mortgage people and guess what i got all the paperwork put together can you come by here am i coming by your place i'm going to mail it to you like it's all done yeah. and you can do it with a sense of oh this got done and i didn't have to do a lot because my team took care of it mm. that's the win that's the win and 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 um not that we're comparing teams but one of the things that I have found over and over and over, especially as we've dealt with older clients, especially we've dealt with clients who have lost spouses, for example, where it's become critically important is your insurance carrier, your, sure. your, your, your property casualty, car insurance. You know, that's a world that is about as nebulous as nebulous can be. And the ability to say to somebody, who's your insurance carrier? Oh, we use so-and-so down the street. It's music to my ears to say, you know what? Let them, tell them what you're trying to do. Let them put all the paperwork together because that's what they do, yeah. right? They have systems that talk to the registry systems and they, that rather than calling an 800 number to try to fill paperwork out to change ownership and it, it is worth its weight in gold yeah. To have a good team. Because like think that. about it, you're, you. When do you use your? You only use your insurance when you need it, right? The rest of the time, yeah. you're just like paying it, and you know, you you, you buy it hoping you're not going to use it. Right? That's right. That's right. I got in an accident. Yeah. I got in an accident. What am I going to do? Yep. That's right. It's I, crazy. I, I do. I, you know, and and this is, and you've talked about this on the show before. You know, as far as like your, you know, being, you know, like your team, but like, think about what about. Uh, and you brought this up about when if you're dealing with like a, an assisted living place or like sure. or, or or a or a nursing home or or the or the Medicaid person like that Medicaid like yeah. kind of handler and being able to you know kind of be able to talk to them and and you know like because remember we talked about you know especially in, in Jay's line of work is the whole like when people are you know the old older people and they they're applying for Medicaid there's a reason they're applying for it and it and it has to do with health and it has to do with like the thing that becomes like the you know the biggest priority oh, yeah. you know for, you know, we joked about it before like you're not going to worry about money when you're when you're old and you know you know when you're 110, 110 years yeah. old but it, it, you know the, your health becomes your number one priority so at that point, you you know you want to have like a, a streamlined a process. You don't want to have to you don't want to have to you know get stuck on something. You know all the things that we've talked about. How like if I if I have to move from one place to another, if I have to if I have to go from you know you know in home care to some, to someplace else. Well, each one of these disciplines has its own language, hmm. right? And I'm not saying that we're fluent in all of them. But we can get by, yeah. right? We can get by. You're so, not speaking Mandarin Chinese. No, that's right. That's yeah. right. We get it. I mean, and you bring. We were just talking on behalf of a, uh, for a client the other day, talking to these uh, to the nursing home, and the client was like in over their head, and I said, let "It's me a lot, right?" I said, yeah. let, "Let me let me call them." And I called them, and I said, first of all, here's the plan. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're trying to pull together. And oh, by the way, we probably do about 50 of these a year. And I said, so I get it. I get what we're trying to do. I get what you guys are trying to do. And you drop all the right buzzwords and say, look, this is the trip. You let, and then and then everybody goes, I got it. I yeah. got it. I, I, there, there's a plan, and I understand right. it because you communicated it to me. And you know what? Guess what? The door is open. 
come on down, mm -hmm. right? That's what you're trying to do. That's how it works with all this stuff. And again, there's a lot of people that you're going to talk to a lot uh, about some of these big ticket items, but they're also going to be able to point you in the direction for a lot of other stuff that you just, you know, you, you don't even know who on your team you need to talk to yet, but somebody else on your team does. So the takeaway for today is this, is if, you know, depending upon whatever you do, and, and, and it could be anything, right? It could be, yeah. it could be t Tom working at, at Holliston Hub. You know, there's, you need to have, like, go find them. Go find the people that Hold are, your team. That, yeah, that, that are going to, that are going to be able to, to help you potentially down the road. They're going to be able to kind of assist you in a, you know, whether it be a professional capacity or whether it be a personal capacity. Well, and here's what else they're going to help. They can help your family. Yeah. They can help your family. When you need help, they're the, those are the people that your family's going to turn to and say, you know what? Call John. Yeah. Call John. I'm, I'm losing my fastball. Call John. He will tell you everything that we've put together because we planned it this way. And in our experience, for speaking for Jay and John, in our experience, the way that develops, the way that that network and that team that you're building develops, it's when somebody calls you and says, hey, can you do this for me? Can you help with this? Or if you recognize something that wow, you might not, listen, not for nothing. I'm just kind of, I, I overheard your conversation. If you need help with this and not like, it's not like you're chasing an ambulance. It's right. like, I, 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 this is what I do. I can help. Right. Yeah. And, you know, and in the example of, you know, when I texted you last night, that's what it was. It was like, Hey, you know, not for nothing. I, I may be able to, to assist here and, and you do that. And if someone asks you, as you know, ask for your help, give it to them, yeah. give it to them because and again, it's not a, it's not quid pro quo, and, and it's no. important to understand that. It's it, like it, I think you and I are on the same page in that if it's done the right way, it's not quid pro quo. It's not. Yeah, it's not because now you're like you, you've you've you, you've kind of presented to this person, or you've shown this person who's asked for your help. You're like, I'm willing to help. Like yep. I, I'm I'm willing to help. Now, maybe I might need your help someday. Maybe I won't. But you know that if you need my help, you, I've just proven that you that I, that I'm here for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what, you're, that's what the whole thing's all about. That's what collaboration. Build your team. Doesn't have to be 53. It can be whatever you want it to be, but build right. your team. All right. So uh, in review, where's we're about wrapped it up. Wrap it in, up. in review. Wrap right. It up. So so once again uh, to the to the late great Jimmy Buffett. Uh, God rest his soul. Sail on, uh, sail on, sailor. That's right. Sail on. That's right. And. Uh, and of course, our, our shout out to Lisa Thorne, Lisa, who are yeah, can't our, wait, and, Lisa. Yeah, and uh, and of course, you 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 guys can always reach us. You know, yes, and, you and can. I, and I was going to put it up here. It's MoneyInTheLaw.net. If you want to, if any questions, anything you want to talk about, go to MoneyInTheLaw.net. That's how that's how you get to us. That's how you answer. That's how you get answers to your questions. That's it. All right. So uh, until next time. Until next we'll time, see you my next, friend. All right, uh, everybody, have a great weekend. Don't do anything dumb. No. Yeah. Because yeah, be good. Don't drink too much. What was we drink? Scotch. Yeah, don't drink too much. Don't drink too much of anything. Don't even drink too much water. Single you know, malt. Enough. Stay right. with the blended All stuff. Right. We'll see everybody next week. Bye.